Williams and in this episode I'm going to introduce you with the new API resource controller and we are going to create model for product and reviews and much more exciting thing happening in this episode so stay tuned and with that I am your host Sathak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see what we have to create. So I have here the terminal and I want to create model first. So let's create model. So I will say PHP artisan but let's get help for creating model. So help make model and what it will give? It will say if you give it this flag hyphen A it will create migration, factory, resource controller, everything and also model because we are going to create the model. So let's see how we can do all these things. So we have to create php artisan make model then model name and I'm going to get all these model inside one folder called model flash then product. As simple as that but we have to give the a flag to create migration factory resource controller and obviously the model so now hit enter and you can see we have model created successfully factory created successfully migration created and our controller similarly we want everything for our reviews so reviews not reviews only review okay then hit enter and we get all other things so let's just see on the sublime how all these things looks like so i will go here go to app folder and you can see a new folder called model is here so let's go inside that we have this to model that's very nice and similarly in the http folder controllers we have product controller and reviews controller and if you want you can move these two inside a new folder called api controller so that every API things will be outside other controller. So I'm not going to do that because it's just an API series. So nothing else. That's good. That's good. And now in the database, we have the migration here. And you can see this migration, this migration for review. Okay. Similarly, we have this factory to create the seeding part of uh, database that means fake database we get from this okay now let's just go to api.php inside routes and api.php but i'm not going to do from here i will just press ctrl p here and i will say api.php and here we have everything is here let's remove this from here and now you can see we have this route already set up by the level but we have to create our new route and that will be api route obviously so let's create a route our resource controller so that will be resource but i have told you that i'm going to introduce you with api resource i will just introduce you but let's complete this so here firstly comes product and that will be good i think that should be products that's nice because it's a restful way so we have to make it plural okay then we have to say product controller that's good and now let's go to terminal and here i will say php artisan route colon list and let's just see the list of these routes okay so you can see the routes having index store create show update destroy and edit we are creating an api so we don't have any any page for creating we just want to store and similarly we don't have any page to show the edit part we just going to update we have the data and we are just going to update that so if i go here and I will say API resource. Let's just go to terminal once more. And here, once more, route list. And now you can see the difference. Edit and create is 
eliminated from the routes list okay this is the power of api resource obviously you will have uh, product controller obviously you will have this create function and the the edit function because we have created the resource controller but route is not present so we don't need this so if you want delete you can delete this but i'm not going to delete that that's okay for me okay that's good so we have created api resource controller for our product so when we are going to show all the product we are going to this route if we want to create new product with a post request we will give this route then similarly to show a single product detail here we have similarly update and destroy let's do this same thing for our reviews but i think reviews is will be like product slash id of the product then reviews so instead of creating directly api resource i will firstly create group of route and what this will do this will give prefix of prefix of products okay and then we have to give a function inside that we are going to give our api resource route so api that should be double colon api resource and here comes obviously before getting the review we want our product id so that should be product slash here comes reviews and that should be on review controller that's good and now let's once more go to terminal list the routes and we have lots of routes so be like this yeah so we have product all the product then comes the reviews so product reviews and similarly that and also the routes for editing updating or destroying our reviews so that's very nice let's just push all these things to our github repository so that you will get everything on the github repository and let's go to terminal here i will say git status and yeah various things are not here so let's git add all that's good then git status once more everything is clean then git commit m flag which will give the message and message is created model hyphen a it should be a php artisan way of <laughs> telling that we are going to get everything so let's just commit this great very nice now git status once more working directory is clean and now git push because we have done everything and we have also connected this repository to our github.bigfumes repository so let's just push git push and in a no time it will push everything to our master so let's go to chrome reload this and we have two commits and if you go to this commit created model hyphen a and you will see all these changes so that's a good idea having all these things on github so that you can follow me along with that so this is the first episode i think that's not the first the third one and here is the fourth one <laughs> okay so we will meet in the next episode to have the seeding part of our database that means we have created factory we have created migration so we are going to migrate it and connect to our database then we will migrate and we will seed all these data faker data to our database so we will meet in the next episode with some awesome cool things and till then don't forget subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye